and you also get an eye full of man's best friend right now. We will show you the shots that are going to amaze you as our Debbie Madinopoulos is with the photographer taking the plunge to capture a few canines like you've never seen them before. How long would you say it actually takes to get a photo of one of these dogs underwater? It really depends. You gotta get it. Come on, little jump. It's all about the dogs, and it's all about being patient and having a good time. Seth Castile's patience pays off. Ready? Get it. Come on. Good. All right, here we go. His underwater images have become a global phenomenon. Leaping labs, paddling paws, boxers, bulldogs, and an irresistible Boston Terrier. He showed our Debbie Metnopolis how he uses an underwater camera designed for surf photography. It's much lighter weight than scuba diving housing. It allows me to really cut through the water very quickly. It also allows me to use a Canon flash. Is a lot of it also with the, the development of the photo? Like how you pop the colors, et cetera? You know, not really. I mean, what I'm doing is I'm shooting flash under the water. I'm shooting a wide angle lens, a fisheye lens, and I'm shooting flash. And I'm, I'm so close to the subjects that you kind of like almost have inches away. I mean, you know. You know, this sometimes this close. The color yellow is good because sometimes the dogs are underwater and they're not sure where the tennis ball is, so then they'll look at whatever else is under the water that's colorful, and that might in fact be my camera housing. So then you see the dogs looking straight in, sometimes they're looking at the yellow of the camera housing. Seth loves pooches so much he's an outspoken supporter of the animal rescue community. He even has dog tattoos. He says his candid show a side of the animals most people never see. How do you get these dogs to actually go underwater and hold their breath? I mean, how do they know to do that? This is what's so confusing to me. Debbie, do you know how to hold your breath underwater? Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's it. Yeah, but if I'm a dog and I'm not used to swimming underwater, I mean, it's so confusing. At some point... Do any of them, you, like, drink the water? At and... some point, you've been underwater and you probably... I don't know what happened. Maybe you swallowed some water, maybe you didn't. True. Uh, but you figured it out. And dogs, it's the same thing. All dogs know how to swim instinctually. Seth's photos have made such a splash, they're published in a new book, Underwater Dog. What has been your favorite dog to photograph? You, that's not fair to ask me that, Debbie. <laughs> because someone's been, yeah, it is. somebody's gonna be sad out there if I don't, you know what I mean? I have a lot of favorites. And it always, I mean, Lulu here is, of course, one of my favorites. The little Jack Russell. She's just a little star, she's such a lover, and she's funny to watch, she's amazing, she dives six, seven feet, she chases these rings, she's just hilarious, and she just makes me laugh. Get it! Yeah! Good girl, Lulu! Now, some of those lucky dogs have been turned into calendar girls and guys, yes, Seth's images have been compiled into a 2013 wall calendar, and don't worry, you cat fans out there, because I know you're going to say, we want pictures of cats. Well, they're part of this photographer's portfolio also, but they kind of opt to stay high and dry. All right, still to come, Kate Hudson dressing up for the holiday. No, not Halloween, Christmas.